Or, you were traveling the comic book circuit, right? There yeah, the I was circuit. doing. I was yeah, I was doing like Mighty Con and you know the small forty dollar table circuits, not the not the Wizard World three hundred dollar table circuits, which is nuts. And, which is crazy. You've got to be doing professional business. And I was, again, I'm trying to transition from hobbyist to professional at that time. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't selling a lick of anything. Oh, sorry. My bad. That's my air compressor. <laughs> <laughs> so where were I where before the bus stopped? Um, yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> so I was doing this small con circuit and wasn't selling a lick of anything. And after the one season, I said, you know what, I, sitting there for five, ten hours, sometimes one day, sometimes two, no, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. So I took a break and started drawing again, sketching again. Um, then Corona happened in March, and I'm a school bus driver by day, artist by night. And what happened was we got furloughed. Yeah. You know, school shut up like that. And uh, so yeah, basically I've been – Bus drivers aren't really going to take people anywhere if the schools aren't open. No. Well, yes and no. I mean, the sports are going this fall. I'm actually working six hours a week, like two days a week, but it's still, it's not enough to make a living. So during the summer, I was like, okay, I'm just going to refocus on my art, figure out what I want to do. At first, I got into uh, doing caricatures, mm -hmm. and I was following uh, Tom Richmond from Mag Magazine. I was going to take one of his um, his seminars, signed up for that. But COVID canceled that, so I've been following him online and doing doing stuff online. You were going to go and, somewhere and do one of his seminars? Well, he was going to come to Schaumburg, which is like 20 minutes from my house. Oh. And uh, it got canceled because COVID. You know, all the hotels, it was going to be at a hotel, even though it was only like 15 people. I was like, nope, we're shutting down. Everything got shut down. So it was actually postponed until like three weeks from now, this is September 21st. Mm -hmm. And that's my anniversary weekend. So, and, and, uh, I kind of shifted gears from focusing out of caricatures to something else, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so yeah, I was going to take his seminar and I'm, I'm in his caricature group and I'm following online. And every day there was like a, he called it the daily Corona caricature. <laughs> so it was stay at home. Here's a celebrity, draw the celebrity today. And I started doing like a Corona comic, you know, I, I did, did a bunch of those and I posted them on my personal Instagram page and then just kind of shifted gears and lost focus. Mm -hmm. The problem when you stop working is that you start to get scatterbrained. It's like, what do I want to do today? Okay. Okay. I'll do this and I'll do that. And then you go this way and you go that way. Mm -hmm. So I was doing this, um, Corona Cures on Tom's page, and one day he picked Richard Pryor. Yeah. And so I'm a big toy guy, uh, you know, collect toys and whatnot, and I can can show you my studio. It's kind of dark in here, but I'll give you a slight, slight tour of the studio here. I mean, I've got all kinds of toys and collectibles. And those are just around. like ones you've bought and things like yeah, that. Yeah, mostly, mostly some of them are like you know, collected. Yeah, like, yeah, like the, the, um, the Chris Reeves, uh, the Superman, and the um, uh, Hawkeye Pierce I made, those are like custom figures that I made way back in the day. So we started doing these caricatures, and I decided to do Richard Pryor from the toy. Okay. And I and I did this card, and I was and I painted him as like the action figure. Now, are you familiar with the with the movie The Toy from the eighties? Yes. Very much so, yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic Richard Pryor film. It's very politically incorrect for the day. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it kind of was then, too. <laughs> yeah, it really was then, too. But it was a good statement back then. So yeah. if you you know if you haven't seen it, go seek it out. Watch it. Take it with a grain of salt. If you're a Richard Pryor fan, you'll enjoy it. Um, so I did this, and then I thought, I can actually make this an action figure, mm -hmm. like a real action figure. So I went out and I bought uh, like an old Luke Skywalker figure. So I basically took this and I made this. Oh, neat. And so I did this as a custom one-up. I sculpted the head and I sculpted like the Spider-Man pajamas on a Bespin Luke figure. Mm -hmm. And so I had fun with it. I'm like, you know what? This was fun. I'm like, I could do this. So I've shifted gears into doing bootleg three and three quarter inch figures. 
which was my love and passion back in the day. I collected, um, you know, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, you know, any three and three quarter inch figures I could get my hands on. And then I found this bootleg scene on Instagram with all these different kinds of bootleg bootleg toy guys who've been doing this for years and just kind of fell into it Mm -hmm. and, and started having fun with it. 